Uh, question 10. Calculate the pH of 0 0.5 liters buffer solution composed of 0 0.7 formic acid. So this is a buffer solution, solution that resists pH changes due to the presence of both the base and can be the conjugate base and its acid or the conjugate acid and its base. So in this case we've been given an acid and this conjugate base sodium format. I can write the equation so that you understand what I'm talking about. So um, we have an acid HCOOH okay now this acid gives us sodium format meaning that it has lost a proton this is an acid that's the conjugate base okay now the first part of the question says we have to find the pH so don't forget we've been given the volume to be 0 0.5 liters the concentration of the acid has already been given to be 0 0.7 that of the conjugate base has been given to be 0 0.5 so the anderson Essendon equation gives us a formula to calculate the pH okay it's dependent on the pK plus the log since in this case the K we're dealing with an acid so it's a conjugate base in this case the conjugate base is what? this guy okay the conjugate base of um, the acid itself. So for the substitution, what is our pK? So our K value has been given to be that. So negative log of 1.77 times 10 to the power negative 4 and then plus the log of the format which is 0 0.5 and then that is 0 0.7 right so you can now try to grab the calculator there and see what we're going to have at that point so the negative log of 1.77 plus the log of that. So 1.77 times 10 to the power negative 4 negative log of it plus log of 0 0.5 divided by 0 0.7 so I'm getting a value of 3.605 which would be rounded off to 3.6 just so that's our pH from our calculations there And then, let me not erase the equation. I'll just take note of the equation. Take note of it. So look at what we have now. The second part of the question is asking, and don't forget the first answer we found is 3.6. Now the second part of the question says, we have to calculate the pH after adding 50 milliliters. Okay, so I have to observe now what sodium hydroxide is. Sodium hydroxide is a base, meaning that it's going to be working more with what? It's going to be working more with the other base that is already present. The base that is already present in this case is what? This guy. So they are going to complement each other. So we have to add the number of moles, its number of moles to this, and subtract its number of moles from the acid. So before that, let's calculate the number of moles of these ones that are already present before and for this one. Initially we were told the volume was 0 0.5 liters. And then we are told 
it was 0 0.7 molar concentration. So 0 0.5 liters, you know, the number of moles is given as a product of concentration and the volume. So 0 0.5 times 0 0.7, right? That would be 0 0.35 moles. And then for HCON, HCOONA, <coughs> that's the number of moles for the other part, which is the format, the concentration of 0 0.5. 0 0.5 times 0 0.5, that gives us 0 0.25 <coughs> moles. Now let's calculate the number of moles that are coming with the base that we are adding, the sodium hydroxide. Now 50 milliliters, we have to divide by 1,000 to make it liters. So that would give us 0 0.05 liters times a molar concentration. It remains 0 0.05 moles. So 0 0.05, 0 0.05. Where are we adding while we're subtracting? So it's a base. We're adding to a base, the other base that's already present. And then we're subtracting from the acid due to the neutralization so that is happening there. So um, 0 0.35 minus that, this would give us 0 0.3 moles. And then that was, would also give us 0 point after adding 0 0.3 moles as well. So after we've done this, we can now go back to our equation of calculating the pH. So a pH would be on the pKa. So the pKa in this case is a negative log of a Ka. So negative log of 1.77 times 10 to the power negative 4. Again, plus the log of the conjugate base 0 0.3, 0 0.3 also for the acid there. So um, <coughs> again, negative log of 1.77 times 10 to the power negative 4, 3.75 plus log 1. So that remains 3.75. So this is the new pH. So what have we seen? We've seen the pH increase from 3.6 to 3.75 due to an addition of a base. So it is a very small change as you can see. That's why this is called a buffer solution. Because even if after adding a base or an acid, the change is just so minimal as you can notice. So it resists changes in the pH value.